this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com <laughs> and this is another quick look video I'm going to be looking at an art book and having just finished recording a video of this one sketching from the imagination characters I enjoyed it so much that I thought I'd have a quick look at this one as well so this was the other one that I talked about it's on my bookshelf and it's called Sketching from the Imagination An Insight into Creative Drawing by 3D Total Publishing and that's basically it on there so this one well the last one I've not even I've never looked inside of this before I like that colour green there I've never looked inside of it so I don't know what it's about but this one it was really exciting because it was just full of artists and you just got a bunch of sketches from a load of different artists so hopefully this is the same with this one but this one's not going to be about characters so this will be interesting to see what's going, what it's going to be about and stuff I like that colour very nice green something I love about 3D Total Publishing is they create very sexy minimalist books and magazines and stuff because they create the character design quarterly magazine which I love to bits <laughs> just dropped dropped me water bottle and it is the same it's a bunch of artists and I guess you're gonna look at different types of sketches and stuff so Let's get into it. Alfonso Matisse. So you get a little bit of writing. And then you get just loads of sketches. Beautiful. That is how... See, I would not know where... How to do that. I wouldn't know where to start with that one. I, I'll tell you something I do wish they did. I wish they had thumbnails, because it would be interesting to see that as a thumbnail. That is so complicated to me. Characters. Hmm, <laughs> funny. So on this one you get a li little bit of writing from each artist. I was going to read a bit of it, but you get their website, a little bit of writing, and then it's just a load of sketches, and that is really what I like, because I think it's, I just like seeing other artists' sketches. Look at the angle on that. That's quite a interesting, I can really feel that bike moving through the space. Oh, these are nice. Lots of motion. Yeah, so the, these sketches, whereas the other ones were characters, these are more like scenes, which for, for me is a lot harder. With a character, I can focus on sketching the character, but I'd find it much harder to sketch these because it's a lot more going on. Hmm. Like shapes. Oh, that's nice. It's like different. Quite shocking. I said it before, I love lots of faces. I love it when you get a page of faces. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, this is just, again, it's really interesting seeing everybody's sketches 
Because everybody is so different. A little bit of basic shapes. It's a bit like Dr. Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog. I like these little characters. They look quite interesting, like, actually. be a good one to sketch, picking out the lights. Loopy Dave. <laughs> I like it. They're interesting characters. I think I'm much more into characters than like scenes. I like that. But then look at I like that. Cause that's got a, that's got like a something about it. That would also be good to sketch because you got a certain style to copy. Reminds me of something. Turtles, I think. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What I do love about these books is you get the website. So if you find an artist you like, you can find out more about them online. So these, these books are good ways to discover new artists. These are all done ink on paper. Very sketchy. Hmm, I love that. Fun. Like you can imagine it moving. Like, I like that. That's interesting, look at that. That's like, that's messing with my head. It's like what, I'm, it's like there's two creatures together there. That's flipping weird, like in a good way. <laughs> I like the shape of that hat. And then, there's something going on with that, it's messing with my head. I'd like to just start trying to, uh, I just want to draw my own characters and I don't know how to do it. Aww. That's why I'm going to study, I'm studying at the moment from SBS Learn. She's funny. And I'm going to be starting the character to call, <laughs> character, look at that starting a character design course this week because I just finished the perspective one which was hard but they never said it was going to be easy <laughs> I think the thing with perspective is like I was studying perspective course at SVS Learn and it was really hard but and I was getting a little bit I love these I was getting a little, little bit, I don't know if frustrated is a word, it was just, I just wanted the course to be over in a weird way, because I, I wasn't enjoying it as much. But what's really funny is, like last night, I started playing around with perspective, 
and I realised that I'd actually learnt quite a lot. So even though, like that, even though I'd, even though I was really struggling, he's funny. Even though I was really struggling and I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, I was actually learning. So that was quite sort of exciting. And I think if I was to go back and do perspective again, I'm just going to have to keep doing it. That's the thing. I also know that sometimes you've got to take a break from studying something and then do, like, do something a bit more fun. It must be so good to be able to get a picture in your head of something, like a, get a character in your head and then just be able to draw it. That must be an amazing feeling. Like that. I like that as well. Again, nice pose, hips pushed. <laughs> Something nice about these. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's just something nice, like, I wanted to say childlike, not in a bad way, it's just, it feels nice. Look at these. That's mad. De the details are amazing. That eye look. That's funny, that is. Yeah, you could imagine these moving. That is really good. I love it when they don't finish it. I leave it a bit unfinished. I love that. I love that, look at that. The shape of that. Yeah. See, this is an artist I would find online. I believe it's vital to draw reality and life models as it allows you to explore possibilities and improve your skills. I think life drawing is key. I go to life drawing every week and I love it. That's what I love about life drawing. Life drawing, I want to say it's got nothing to do with perspective but it has because you've got foreshortening and stuff but I like just drawing like what's in front of me because it's challenging but in a, in a fun way, whereas perspective is challenging in like a technical way. It's like, I, I think that's it, I have to think too much. I keep going on about perspective. It's because I'm trying to work out why I was struggling so much with it. <laughs> Big bum. That is amazing. Squeaky. <laughs> That really is, that is, look at that. Look how tiny the foot is compared with the bum. It's amazing. These are interesting characters.
the order, I can see something that they've done here. Creative composition course. They've made that super light against the dark. So you get pulled towards it. That's another one. That there's somebody else like this using lots of lines. Hmm. That's funny. Hey. These remind me of something. It's the same as that other one that, where I said it was like childlike. So I obviously saw something in my childhood like this. Is it? Yeah, this, this like reminds me of something. Weird. Is that, is that a scarecrow or somebody's? Look at that. People have got no heads, they've just got lines. Really weird. Like mysterious. almost like a walking ship, like a walking spaceship. Wow, look at that. Interesting. Hmm, I like those. Nice shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eyes. They look cool. Oh look, she's up here looking down. See, cause that's, I like that. I didn't know, I didn't notice it at first. I, I was looking at that, and then I looked up and saw her, and it made me go ah, oh, and it made me look back down again. Oh, she's cool. I like the character. This person's characters. Yeah, look at that, look. She's got a massive fork. That's funny. I like these. I like that. Look at the squigglies. Interesting. Huh. Reminds me of um, Bo Selector. There's a TV program called Bo Selector with a bear. <laughs> it's just like that. That's oh, funny. Marshall Vandruff. Blimey. Marshall Vandruff is one of my favourite people. He's on Proko's videos a lot. But yeah, I didn't realise he was doing stuff like that. Look mad. Intricate stuff. Really cool that is. I like the texture of it as well. A graphite drawing done with pencils. That's got a good style. Oh, I like this. I like when you see phases. That's the one thing I would like in this book. 
is more process images. That's good, the white really makes that. And that is mad. Again, in a good way. Look at these people. Look at these little these creatures here. Look. Yeah, fascinating. That's like a dream. That's like being in a dream world. What I love about this one, the other one, where is it? I don't even know where I put it. Over here. This, this one was very, like, just really inspiring because I wanted to get in and start sketching them. This one's inspiring for different reasons because this, this one's more about just being mad, I guess. Like, really being creative and just. Like some of the stuff in here is so almost like bonkers. It just, to me, the message of this book is just do whatever you want. And like characters with two heads, there was a thing there with twelve eyes. It's it's like this book is almost saying <laughs> when you're sketching, you can do whatever you want. And look at that, a square head. The, I guess what I'm getting is there's no rules when you're sketching. I don't think there's any rules when you're doing any art, but as I've said before, sketching, there's no rules. You start adding detail, that's when you start adding rules. Well, I, I really enjoyed that. They got a digital painting one. I might have to get that. But that was really good. I love flicking. I love the sound of... Look at that. Listen to this. I love the sound of books. So that was sketching from the imagination. An insight into creative drawing. That one is really fascinating. I, I can't imagine how long that one must have took. I can't, I can't imagine, I'd love to know how they started that, where did they start, but I hope you enjoyed that, and basically I'll come back with another one, in the back of this one, it shows somewhere a load of the other ones, fantasy and sci-fi, I might actually get the fantasy one, so you can go out Sketching from the imagination, an insight into creative drawing, fantasy, sci-fi, characters. I think my favourite one so far is this character one, just because I love characters. But this one is really fascinating. Really fascinating. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later for another one, like I did last time. Bing!